हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन अवर जियो सर्वर सीरीज वी हैव लर्न वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ जियो सर्वर एप्लीकेशन राइट फ्रॉम इंस्टॉलिंग जियो सर्वर टू पब्लिशिंग शेप फाइल वी हैव ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ टू अप्लाई स्टाइल्स टू लेयर्स यूजिंग एस एल डी मैथड यूजिंग सी एस एस मैथड एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो यूज जियो स्टाइलर बेस्ड यूजर्स फ्रेंडली वे ऑफ अप्लाइलिंग स्टाइल्स we have learned grouping of multiple layers and publishing as a single wms service today in this video we will learn installing postgre sql database it is a most popular open source relational database which supports working with geospatial objects so let's begin so here we will start with opening a web browser and we will look for uh, postgre sql download so i am typing postgre sql and uh, on the first link itself it is bringing the official website that is postgre sql.org on the front page we have option for download so i am clicking on that so once we click on that it asks for the operating system on which we are working so i am working on windows computer so i am selecting windows so it is taking me to the download page and here is the link download the installer but before uh, i begin downloading i should look for the operating system that i have uh, whether i am working on windows 2019 or 16 whether it is a 64 bit or 32 bit all those parameters i have to check so i am working on this uh, windows computer so i am required to download uh, postgre sql version 10 so now i will go and click on the link yeah so once i click on the link uh, i have to click on the appropriate download button based on my operating system and the version which i have selected so it is 64 bit windows operating system and 10.18 version i want to download so as soon as i click there it will ask me to save the file and then it will begin the installation based on your internet speed your download will take appropriate time it is roughly around 230 mb uh, file size so uh, it is downloading it will be downloaded and placed into your default download location based on the configuration of your uh, uh, web browser so here it goes the file has been downloaded and now i will just double click on it to start the installation procedure let me minimize uh, unwanted windows now installation has begin it is downloading uh, visual c++ redistributable file as per the requirement so it will internally install these dependencies now once the dependencies are installed the rdbms installation will begin and it is a very basic simple installation you have to just click next next and uh, i am keeping all these options checked you also uh, keep it checked now i'm clicking next this is the data directory i'll click next now it is asking me for the username and password postgres postgres is the super user and you have to provide the password uh, you have to remember this password it will be required later on so you just note it down i'm keeping the default port and local installation next and now it is ready for installation so let me click next so installation will begin and uh, it is a very basic simple installation and uh, what i have seen is this is the most user friendly database and uh, biggest thing is it is a open source freely you can download install and use it as per your requirement so let the installation procedure complete it is going to take some time
So right now it has installed uh, basic RDMMS. So now the installation procedure is complete and uh, it is asking me to install a stake builder which is required to download the post GIS extension. So I am clicking finish and I am selecting the local installation which we have installed just now. Now it is fetching various extension that can be installed on top of post GIS SQL. So uh, let it fetch extension list and here we have to select spatial extensions so i'll just click on that to expand the list of spatial extension there are various versions of uh, post gis available so i'm selecting the latest one that is post gis 3.1 bundle so uh, just check that checkbox and then click next so now it will basically download this particular extension from the internet and then it will begin the installation so when I, once i click next it will ask for the default path you can change the download directory as per your requirement and then you have to click next so once you click next it will uh, basically download the extension module from the internet so it is around 35 MB in size so it is going to take some time if you have faster internet connection and download speed in Mbps it will download fast now I want to install this post GIS extension so I will say next and then I agree see it is downloading post GIS bundle and installing agree see you can check box uh, check mark this create spatial database but I am not ticking it because I want to show you manually how to create a database so right now you can also ignore and just click next so it is installing PostGIS extension on top of PostGIS SQL database so which will enable it to store shapefile and other spatial formats it is asking for some environment variable to be set so you have to click yes yes there will be multiple times it will ask like this uh, it is basically setting some environment variables required for the database to function so I, I am clicking yes option So now database is installed, I am clicking finish. So now my installation is complete. Now uh, I am refreshing it and let us check whether uh, application is installed properly and database services are running. So I am just clicking run and services.msc. So uh, let me scroll down and find out uh, where it is. So you can see here post GRU SQL service is started and running so my database is installed successfully and uh, services are running now let us get inside the database through their admin console so you have to type down pg admin so it is a console uh, a user friendly mechanism to interact with the database and perform various functions like creating database altering table so all the things are done through PG admin uh, user interface. So once you click that for the first time it will take some time to open uh, the interface. So it has opened. Now it is asking for the password and you remember we have uh, defined the password during the installation. The same password you have to type down here. So it has been you know connected to our database. Now let me click on the server again you have to provide the same password super user password and say ok 
so now you can see it has connected to the database there is one database postgres which has been created and it is having some public schema and various uh, tables now what we'll do is we will create a new database and we will enable GIS extension on that database so I'll right click on this thing and I'll say create database and let me give a name education and then just save it is such a user friendly manner of creating database I remember earlier in uh, earlier days we have to type down lots of SQL statement to create the database but here uh, it is a very user friendly manner so it will take some time and then it will create database so our database is created you can see here now it is showing two database and education is one of the database now when I click that it is basically a simple database right now without uh, GIS capabilities so I have to create extension and here I have to type down search for my extension so I'll type down GIS and here it is post GIS is the extension so I will select that and save it so it will enable GIS capability into my database so later on I can push the uh, shape file or other GIS supported file formats and then I can perform various GIS operations on that if you go to the schema in education database you can see in the tables spatial reference uh, table is created because now it is GIS enabled database so this reference table is created so we have successfully installed a post GIS uh, enabled post GIS SQL database so we are uh, keeping this video up to this point in our next video we will see how to push our shapefile into post GIS database and then publish it using the geo server